Welcome to Basic Laptop Training. The short videos you're about to watch will give you some guidelines on taking care of your new school laptop and following the rules that come along with it. This will help you enjoy using your laptop in the right way and avoid any problems from using it inappropriately. Okay, it's true that the laptop might not be nearly as cool as some of the latest smartphones and tablet devices, but it's certainly a nice upgrade from what you find in a lot of schools. A laptop gives you more power to create, explore, and connect with the real world outside the classroom. Students and teachers agree that having laptops at our school is a really good thing. However, along with this great opportunity comes some extra responsibility. For starters, you'll have to take special care of your laptop. Always carry it in your school-issued backpack to protect it while you're on the go. Avoid dropping it or damaging the screen or you could have to pay for expensive repairs. Keep it clean and don't write on it or add any stickers or graffiti. And avoid losing keys or other parts. Your goal is at the end of the year to be able to turn it back in just the way it is now. Second, keep your laptop safe at all times. If it gets lost or stolen, it can cost you hundreds of dollars to replace. The charger alone is up to $60. Never ever put it down and walk away, or it could be gone when you get back. Also, your laptop is checked out to you and you alone, so you shouldn't let other people borrow it, even if they promise to return it the next class period. Keep it just as safe when you take it home with you too. Having a laptop means you are accepting the responsibility to keep it safe. But taking care of your laptop is only part of your new job. You also have to use it in the right way and avoid breaking the rules. Its main purpose is for school, and it still belongs to the school, which means it's different from the computers and other devices you may use at home or for fun. Every day, people across the world go to work and use computers and the internet to accomplish their job. And all of these people have to follow the rules their company gives them and make sure they're using it for the right purposes. For example, if their boss caught them on Facebook instead of doing their job, there would be consequences. But when they are at home on their own computer, they have more options for how to enjoy using their computer, like catching up with friends, playing games, or watching videos. It's the same with your school laptop. Perhaps this is the first time you've ever had a work computer, and it may be a new experience for you. But once you understand that it is not the same as your computer at home, you will be able to easily meet the expectations at school and keep your school and home computer use separate. Irving ISD wants you to use your school laptop for learning and creating and exploring. To help accomplish this, they have created a set of rules called the Laptop Acceptable Use Policy that explains what you can and can't do with your school laptop. There are guidelines for using the internet and what websites you can visit. There are limits on what you can put on your laptop, such as games, music, or other programs that didn't come with it. And your use of the computer will be monitored in various ways to help you stay on track with following the rules. Let's take a closer look at the acceptable use policy in the next video and what it means for how you use your school computer.